Hello, I'm John Fain. I'm an ABC presenter in Melbourne on The Morning Show on 77 for ABC Melbourne. But in this context, together with my son Jack, we've written the book From Here to There, which is the tale of our overland adventure driving from our front gate in suburban Melbourne all the way to London. 20 countries, 40,000 k's in six months, and going through from Australia, from Darwin on a container ship to Dili in Timor, and then island hopping from Timor through to Indonesia and the islands of Flores, Sumbawa, Lombok, Bali, Java, Sumatra to Singapore and then through Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, over the mountains into China, right across China, all the way up to Mongolia and across Mongolia, right through the Gobi Desert and back into western Muslim China at Xinjiang, uh, where there have been the riots recently and down through the Silk Road to Kashgar, over the Torrigat Pass into Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and then through Iran into Turkey, across from Asian Turkey to European Turkey, Iran Gallipoli, and then across Greece, up the, Tur the Italian Peninsula, and then into Switzerland, France, to London. All in six months, uh, father and son, um, the best thing you can do and also a pretty tricky thing to do. Uh, we maintained a, a terrific bonding experience throughout that six months, but it did have its moments, which you can read about in the book, of course. Uh, and it's Jack's story as well as mine. Uh, lots of photos, lots of uh, little episodes of crises and near catastrophes, as well as all the fabulous people we met along the way, both locals and other travellers. Uh, and some of the observations and the insights that you get, that uh, wherever you go, people say, this is a wonderful place here and the people are friendly and you're safe here, but when you go to the next island or the next valley or to the next ethnic group or the next country, or, you have to be very careful there. So when, when, you're in, uh, when you're in Indonesian Timor, they say you're very safe here, but when you go to Flores, it's different. And in Flores, when you get there, the people are lovely, but they say, watch out in Sumbawa. And, when you're in Uzbekistan, the people say, oh, we're very friendly here, but watch out for the, the Kazakhs in ethnic uh, eastern Turkmenistan. And when you get to Turkmenistan, they say, oh, look, we're all fine, but it's when you get to the next place that you've got to be careful. They'll slit your throat or they'll steal your car. And in fact, everyone's afraid of what they don't know. And when you get to the next place, they're as friendly as the last people were. It's uh, quite an extraordinary thing. So there's some universal themes about going where people told you not to go, dispelling fear, conquering your own fear, as well as the father-son stuff, the midlife crisis for me and the gap year experience for Jack, uh, the extreme off-road adventure. I mean, if you think that doing the Gibb River Road or the, you know, the Birdsville track is extreme, we'll try the Gobi Desert in a snowstorm. So there's that element for people who, the grey nomad market or the off-roader adventurer market who think that uh, racing around Australia is, uh, is exciting. Well, it is, but it can go to another level. There's the adventure stories of going where people don't go, uh, the Silk Road, there's a lot of history of course there, the different ethnic groups that you meet, the food, and Jack's very much a foodie and writes lovely stories about uh, nearly passing out from chilli hot pots in uh, parts of China. Uh, there's stories I tell against my own interests about um, diarrhoea in minus 10 degrees <laughs> in, in Mongolia at 3 in the morning, but we don't need to dwell on that. Uh, so there's funny things, there's uh, some near misses when we bit off more than we can chew, and the whole bit of business of going to exotic places, sometimes where there's just no tourists and uh, you're a freak, you're a weirdo, you're the first European anyone's ever met, there's all of that as well. So I hope you enjoy the book, it's beautifully designed and lavishly illustrated, and we've got lots of our, the ephemera, the, the memorabilia, you know, ticket stubs and bits and pieces dotted through the book as well as just lots of, uh, lots of photos and funny stories. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope people appreciate it. It's been an extraordinary trip doing the, the journey and then writing about it. So uh, I hope people get to share it through the publication of From Here to There by John Fane and Jack Fane.